if A is it's located at 715 and B is at 510, what is the length from A to B? Remember, that doesn't mean A times B. It means the length from A to B. So you have this one point here, another point here, and you're trying to find that length. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to basically make that guy into a right triangle. We can find this straight horizontal length because that's simply going to be the difference of our X values. Seven to five. How far apart are those? Those are going to be two apart. This is going to be simply the difference of our Y values. Well, they're 15 and 10, so they're going to be five apart. So I can go, oh, two squared plus five squared equals C squared and then solve it. Or I can use my distance formula, which says, hey, it's the square root of the change in your X's squared plus the change in your Y squared. To find the change of anything, you simply subtract the value. 7 minus 5, that's how I got 2 right here. So 2 squared plus the change in my y's, 15 to 10. That's a change of 5 squared. So we have 4 plus 25, square root of 29. That's the exact answer. Once we take it on the calculator, that's going to give us about 5.3. So we'll just round our answer and say, oh, it's about 5.3. 31, is a triangle with side lengths of 11, 12, and 15 a right triangle? To be a right triangle, the one leg squared plus the other leg squared has to equal the hypotenuse squared, which in this case I wrote 15, which was your C value. How did I know that 15 was the C value and not the 11 or 12? Because the C value, the hypotenuse, must be the longest leg in the triangle. It is always the longest leg. So here... We'll check, does 11 squared plus 12 squared equal 15 squared? 121 plus 144, 15 squared is 225. Got news for you, they don't add up. This is, what, 265. That's not the same as 225, so no, that is not a right triangle.